thank you for tuning in. I wanted to share a drone blocks update that hopefully you guys will find useful. I could definitely use some feedback as it relates to this new feature. Now, currently this only supports the DJI Phantom 3, Phantom 4, and Inspire 1. We do have a version working for Solo, but it's not publicly available. But in the meantime, what we've done is released a web-based version of drone blocks where you can save and share missions. So you can see that I'm dragging these blocks out and I can go over here and preview the mission. Now, preview mission currently only works on your iPad connected to your aircraft. But what you can do and what we're really excited about is you can save this mission. Once you enter your email and password, you'll then be able to save missions and share them. And I want to demonstrate that feature. So these are missions that I've previously created. Here is a full panorama mission at 150 feet. And I actually got a chance to run this yesterday. And you'll see that here we loop several times and in between change altitude. Now I won't get into the specifics of why we have to change altitude here. It's uh, basically to overcome a limitation of DJI's SDK. Let me show you a screenshot from the field when I ran this panorama mission. You can see that the altitude of my Phantom 4 was 153 feet. Now this was running the second loop after the altitude had been changed by two feet. And that's very accurate and you can see that the distance that it flew forward from the home location, I have it set to 100 feet and it was at 102 feet. So very close to uh, the values that were specified in this mission. And let me show you the stitch panorama. I'm actually really pleased with the results. So from that drone blocks panorama mission, you can see I was able to create this and this sky is added in post. It's a fake sky. One thing that I did notice is because of the change in altitude for each row of shots, you can see that there's a stitching error right here next to my car. And there are a few others throughout the panorama, but for a basic implementation and being able to code up a mission using drone blocks and go out and shoot a panorama, I'm pretty excited about the results. I'll demonstrate how this sharing actually works. Now you can select any of your missions and click on the share icon and you'll notice that there is a iPad version of the link so I can take this link and email it to somebody if they have drone blocks installed it will open drone blocks on their iPad and load that panorama mission as well as I can share this desktop link for example if I'll just copy this go into a new tab paste it in and then the mission will load. And that's really cool because we can have students or anyone else creating missions on their desktop computer and sharing them with anyone in the world that wants to try the mission on their DJI or 3DR aircraft. I'm going to copy this mission link and put it in the description below. Please feel free to click on it and check it out and go ahead and log in and create your own missions. The Drone Blocks app is free and the version where you're actually saving and sharing missions is not yet in the App Store. It's currently being beta tested by our community of users and if you have any interest in getting on the beta to test it out, you can go to DroneBlocks.io, click on contact and we have the small form that you can fill out to be added to the beta. I'm really excited about having the ability to quickly code up a mission and then being able to share it with someone else. And a lot of you have asked, what about Pixhawk support? And that's definitely something on the roadmap. We're looking into figuring that out, so please stay tuned. So I just wanted to share that update. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.